This is a lady who presented with de novo metastatic breast cancer, and about 5 to 10% of women will present like that in uh, North America, in the United States and Canada. Um, it's far more common uh, in other areas of the world. Um, this lady presented uh, with um, uh, widespread bone metastasis uh, as well as a lung lesion. Uh, the visceral lung lesion was biopsied uh, and found to be estrogen receptor positive um, and HER2 negative. These are the things we need to know uh, when we, before we treat somebody. And it's often very important even when someone has a diagnosis uh, not only of de novo disease, but actually um, disease that has recurred uh, to obtain a biopsy to be sure those markers either estrogen and or progesterone receptor uh, and HER2 are present. Um, so this, again, the choices uh, in this case uh, are um, uh, either uh, continued anti-hormonal therapy. This lady has, was placed on fulvestrant, uh, did well in it for a number of months, about a year or two, uh, and now has progressed. Uh, she could receive either fulvestrant she could receive uh, a chemotherapy. Uh, a lot of us would think about capecitabine. Some of us would think about intravenous chemotherapy uh, with, uh, say, a taxane uh, or potentially an anthracycline. Um, but I think, you know, especially with a visceral lung lesion. But again, she really remains minimally symptomatic. Uh, and in this case, I think I still would continue uh, some sort of anti-hormonal therapy and or a targeted agent uh, in this lady.